Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is. I really just did that. Now I gotta clean all that up. And this is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying some fun life hacks and crafts by One Two Three Go. Down in the comments down below, tell me who you like better, One Two Three Go or Five Minute Crafts. This should be interesting. Anyway, guys, let's do this. Okay, Tori, you ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. Okay, so here's my walkers. Uh, so we'll try it from, where should we try this from? From the table. Okay, so I'll be right here. I'll be on table. Okay, we'll do it from a short distance first. You ready? Okay, I, go to, I don't want to lay down on the floor, so I'm going to sit on my butt. So here's the first whopper. You ready? And candy delivery system. And... Oh, yeah. Did you catch it? It works. It works? Wow! We should do it from even farther. Right now we're at about right now we're at about 140 inches. Let's do it from even farther, Tori. Oh But this time you're gonna try to get into my mouth. Oh crap, oh there you go. Put this in your mouth. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh that tastes like paint. Okay, wait, what's our what's our what's our length, Tori? We're both feet! Both feet! Okay. Oh. No, it got caught on my hand! Okay. okay, let's do it again. I'll try it again. Ready? Oh! I got it! It landed in my mouth! We did it from 12 feet! Woo! Okay, let's try even farther! Okay, I'll go upstairs. You're gonna go upstairs? Okay, go upstairs, go upstairs! Run, run! Okay, guys, 25 feet! Let's do this! You guys ready? This is 25 feet! Oh! So close! You wanna do more? You. You're gonna do two at a time? You're ready. Oh, they're coming at me. Oh, you got one, you got one out of three. This is the most inefficient candy delivery system I've ever seen. What are you doing? You're doing the whole box? Well guys, I guess we can say that this one kinda works. <laughs> Get a plastic bag like this and fill it with your favorite snacks. Here's the plastic with metal rings. Binders are perfect for this. It'll lay flat as if it were paper. Okay, so one thing that you guys are probably thinking is, Robbie, I know you've been stuck in this box for like six months, but how do you feed yourself? And to that I say, I have a very healthy supply of beef jerky and monster. Oh, but I also have a pretty decent supply of candy. Probably honestly, a little too much candy. I just have so much, and I have no good way of organizing it. So hopefully this will be a way better way for me to organize my candy. Oh yeah, this needs to be organized. I have too much freaking candy. So we're just gonna put all this off to the side for a little bit. Here's our organizer. Here are our freezer bags. Let's just uh, open some of these up, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is put all the same kind of candy in this bag. This is gonna take a while, and I'm really sorry. I apologize in advance. And my dum-dums. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this guy in here. I'll figure something out to do with this. Oh no, and this one. Oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. You know what? Get that out of here. Okay, so now that I got this mostly in bags, we're gonna try and fit all this into here. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do it. We're just gonna open this up. I feel like I should do it in alphabetical order. It always seems right. So let's see, A, B, what's here? Gummy worm, waffles, uh, okay. So we'll start off with D for mini donuts. I think all they did was like just make a little hole in the bag like that. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good so far. Fun fact guys, I actually went to a college prep class for like all of high school and one of the big things that I had to do was organize my binder. So I feel like I am more than prepared for this. Okay, so we got D for mini donuts. Do I have B for bubble gum? That would have gone before. A, B, C, D. My perfectly organized candy binder. So we got D for donut, D for dum dums, gummy worm, R for ring pop. Oh, anyway, managed to fit most of the candy. I went from this box full of candy to this organized thing full of candy. Great, great way to organize your candy. Great way to organize anything, honestly. It doesn't quite take up as little amount of space as the box, but but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works. Oh, yum yum! I love myself some tasty za. Yummy. <laughs> but the pizza place forgot to cut it. Oh, how 
annoying. Well, I have a solution for you. You could just try using a knife, but that just doesn't work. So instead, just grab yourself a nice tuna lid, drill a hole right in the center, and attach it to a ruler using a bolt. Now you have yourself a completely functional pizza cutter. So convenient. But does it actually work? Let's find Okay guys, so here's our can. A nice refreshing can of ravioli. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. There we go, yeah, nice and clean. Here's our ruler. Now we just need a bolt. Luckily, thanks to my last video, I am super organized with all my bolts now. There we go. Full washer, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in this bad boy. Yeah, that ought to do it. I feel like I should take off this tab. Well, might as well. Haha! -ha. All we gotta do is put this over here, line up the holes, put in the bolt, screw it all together. Now, theoretically, we got ourselves a working pizza cutter. Yeah, I think this might just work. Let's try this bad boy out. So here is our beautiful pizza. Let's see if this bad boy works. Here we go. It's actually starting to cut it. Whoa, this is amazing. It's definitely a little hard to cut it still. And this ruler is kind of sharp. This kind of sucks as a pizza cutter, if I'm being honest. Like, it doesn't really cut it that well. I definitely think if this can lid was a little sharper, it would be a lot easier. If you really want to get down to it, it does kind of do the job. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it kind of works. I would give it a solid uh, six out of 10. Not my favorite hack ever, but you know, they tried. <laughs> Try this new perspective. Now pretend you're walking off the step. Whoa. Whoa! Okay guys, so I actually don't have stairs outside, unfortunately, but I do have a big old tire that Tori's gonna use to step off. Okay, so you just have to, so you have to do this. Be on the very edge of it, like the edge. Okay, I'm ready. And I have good balance, so we might have to do this quick. Okay, so step out, know. step out. Okay, step out. You're good, keep going. And then you gotta get your other foot. Yeah. Yes, okay, I'm in the shot. Okay, we'll try it again. <laughs> a burst, just a little bit out. This heel, right here. <laughs> there, right there, oh my you god. Ready? You ready? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you wanna see them? Let's see how graceful I am. Okay, time to see these. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty, uh... <laughs> okay, I like. Yeah, you like that so far? That's another oh, one? No. Yeah? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Fear, the panic. <laughs> oh no, okay, so that's that one. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, look good. Okay, I guess you wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I have to be like on the very edge. I might step on my phone. I'm risking my phone for this. Okay, ready? And. Oh, you might have gotten it. Let's look, I think, I think we might need to go wider or taller. I need another tire. Take that. Tori, I think I broke my spine. Tori. You mean? I need to go to the hospital. Take me through the box portal now. Okay, you want to try it again? Okay, stand on it. Oh, I'm standing on it? Yeah, okay, so you do it, from, this do it like this, and then you gotta lay down. Hi, okay. You ready? If you step on me, I will cry. I'm ready, Tori. Ready? And. Okay, Tori Dabransky. Yes, a classic. Looks pretty, uh, yes. Dude, my legs look like 30 feet long. 10. Yes. <laughs> you just have one Oh my god, I'm so upside down. I can't look at these photos. Can I block your screen? Wow, Great. looks good. Wow, pretty good. Wow, I definitely look like I'm floating. I look pretty floating. We're just waiting for you to go. I look like I'm floating. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. <laughs> yeah, three. Woo! If you find yourself boasting an oily sheen, try using a toilet seat cover to blot your skin with. Simply put the paper to your skin and watch it absorb the grease right off your face. And before you know it, you'll be fresh faced and ready to go. Where am I supposed to get one of those? Let's go to the Adventure Mobile. Let's go to Walmart. Okay, so here we are at Walmart. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have any of those toilet seat covers. Let's do it. Oh no. 
Okay guys, so we have our toilet seat covers. They're a little, uh, they're a little messed up now, but I think, <laughs> I think they should still work, right? Now I just have to figure out a way to get sweaty. Oh, <gasps> I have the perfect idea. Okay guys, let's ride. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. <gasps> Let's do this. Let's do let's do this. Let's do this. I can do it. I got it. Okay, I think I think I, think I might be good. Okay. I'm all sweaty. As you can see the glistening on my forehead slightly damp. Let's see this. Ooh. So this is one sheet. I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, that's a lot of sweat up there. Oh, it's sticking to my face! <laughs> oh my gosh, is it working? My head is a little bit more dry there. Wow, I got some, I got a really dirty face. It's still sticking. I mean, I personally wouldn't go out of my way to steal toilet seat covers from a store just to do this. But I mean, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Is anything coming out? Come on, anybody home in there? Just let the salt help you out. Simply rub it on these bumps. The vibration loosens the clog at the hole. Okay guys, so here's our salt and pepper. So we have a pesky, oh no, uh. <laughs> we have a, dang it, this pepper shaker actually works. We have a pesky working, Ugh. it freaking works. What are we, what are we supposed to do? Um, apparently if I do this, wow, it's coming out and I don't even have to try. Look at all that freaking pepper. What? Oh my, guys, I'm gonna test to see if it's actually pepper. Oh yeah, oh. That's definitely pepper. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. For this prank, you'll need to fill a big bowl up with Jello mix. Next, pour in some hot water and be sure to stir it up really well. Make sure all the granules are dissolved. Now that that's done, it's time to get Lana's computer mouse we snuck away. Go ahead and pop that bowl into the fridge for a couple of hours. When you flip the bowl over, you should be able to slide out the jello in one swift move. What's this? Perfect. I don't think Chris will miss this mouse. Okay, so here's our jello. So the instructions say to boil two cups of water. So here's our water boiler. Let that boil real quick. Perfect. Ding, fries are done. Put that hot water in the bowl. Open up our jello packet. Dump that in there. I haven't used the old Mixitron 5000 in a while, so might as well give this bad boy a whirl. And here we go. In retrospect, it's probably a bad idea to mix boiling hot jello with the Mixitron because it'll get everywhere and possibly get on me, but you know, it's fine. We do this all the time. Okay, it looks good. Now let's go ahead and put this in the fridge. Oh, one more thing. I forgot the mouse. Oh, I don't think I have enough jello. I gotta cover it up even more. Oh man, if this mouse didn't work before, it's definitely not gonna work now. I definitely need to add a little bit more gelatin. Yes, there we go. I want this to be a solid gelatin mass. Mix that up. Yes. Okay, now we can put it in the fridge. Oh, I can't open my fridge again. Here we go. Oh, oh. Ah. Do -do -do -do. Okay, now I have to wait a couple hours. Let's hope this gets jellified. Okay, guys, let's see if this is uh, jellified yet. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Okay, it looks like we're still in the guest room. Behind the camera, behind. Mute her a little bit so that he doesn't see it. Okay, now I just have to flip the ball over. One, two, and. That was really loud. <gasps> it's stuck. Oh, shoot, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, get out of there. It's really stuck out of there. Oh no, the mouse is stuck to the bottom of the bowl. Oh, I just have to put it in. Oh no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I guess it's time to test this out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris, don't mind me. I was just. I gotta go! Okay. Uh. Alright. Dude, look at that! What the heck? I put your mouse in jello! Oh my god. Why? That's what you get? Why? Ignoring me and going on your computer. <laughs> Electronic.
animatronic. You can't put it in jello. This isn't the office. Do I look like bright shrimp to you? Take that! Well, guys, I guess we can say it. this one works. It's not working. <laughs> it's really not working. Looks like I broke his mouse. And boy, does Lana have a good one up her sleeve. Is that food coloring? My job is done here. I don't want to get any cavities. Um... Okay guys, so I know for a fact that Chris brushes his teeth every single day at exactly 2.45 p.m. So this looks like the perfect opportunity to prank him. Oh hey Chris, uh, uh, how's it going? Good. Yeah? Okay good, he's distracted. Here's his toothbrush. I think Chris's favorite color is green. Luckily that's what I got to match his hair. Is it cool if I sit here? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh boy. Sorry. Oh man. Yeah. It's like a little past two thirty. It's a pretty good time. You know? It's a good part of the day, you know. Two thirty, a little bit past two thirty. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, hey, I gotta go brush my teeth over Oh, back. yeah, no problem. Yeah, I know that's really important to you. What? What's wrong, Chris? No! Chris? Did you do this? Do you like your new wings? Do you like it? No! It matches your hair! What is this? this? I thought it's not okay. My favorite color this is not okay. This is not okay. Dude, oh my god, is this gonna stay? Yes! I just whitened my teeth. <laughs> is this really gonna stay? <laughs> You've been great! Not even coming off my lips. This is like lipstick now. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works! Dude! <laughs> Take that, Chris! That's what you get for pranking me, dude! Instead of a piggy bank, try putting your cash in a baggie like this one. Make sure you close it up tight so that no excess water can get to the money. This way, you can tuck it right into the inside of the machine. And once it's tucked in there nice and tight, you can go about doing your laundry as usual. Okay, so here's our money. Here's our plastic bag. Put this bad boy in here. Cool, let's go uh, find our washing machine. Okay, so here's my washing machine. And I feel like if I were to put money inside of this thing, I would probably lose it. Let's try the dryer. How's the dryer look? Dude, there's literally no place in here for me to hide money. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work for me. Have you ever tried to just like make a cheat sheet for class? It's perfect. It's the best cheat sheet in the world, but so big. Maybe if we make it just a little bit smaller. Put it in my pocket. No, it still won't fit in my pocket. Well, that idea is out the trash. Let's make an even smaller cheat sheet. No, I'm writing it on the table. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a cheat sheet. Wow, how about you try this? Wow, no, I don't want to smile. Wait, where's this balloon going? <laughs> so now it's super small. What? So you're saying that this big writing turned into this little writing. That's crazy, I have an idea. So first, we're gonna go ahead and write our, our equation on the balloon, nice and big, and then we're gonna let it shrink down so it gets really small. Then we put tape on it, then we put it on our nail. Wow, that's actually really clean. The teacher will never notice this one. It's perfect. Dang, I thought my handwriting was bad. Wow, I can barely even, what is that? CLB? What is that? Anyway, let's try this one. Okay, so here's our balloon. Go ahead and blow this up. Now we have to write our secret message. I don't know what to put here. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Now I always know to wear a mask when I go out in public. Now we're gonna go ahead and let some of the air out. Oh! I don't think I did this right. Look how tiny it is though, it's perfect. Okay, what's another one we could do? Um, let's see. A equals MC squared. I think, wait, squared is that one, right? And then plus uh, 10 minus 12 equals negative two plus six uh, divided by two equals three plus four plus uh, eight equals 12. Yeah, I, re I remember that. Yeah, I 
Why does it always had so many problems remembering this uh, specific equation? Okay, now we're gonna carefully let the air out again. Okay, and now we have our equation, which I don't think I wrote small enough because how the heck is this supposed to fit on my thumb? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to try it and find out. So they just put some tape on it and then it picked it up on the tape. Oh no. So here we go. <gasps> what? You can vaguely see it. It's perfect. Let me just do the next part. Put it underneath. Oh my God. It's perfectly legible. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Wow, look it, I'm all ready for my math test. Put some tweezers in here somewhere. Don't tell me I left them at home. I'll just make my own pair of tweezers. It may not be ideal, but it sure is handy. Okay guys, so here are our coins. So apparently we just kind of put them like this and then we can use them as tweezers to just kind of pluck at our eyebrows. You see that, see that, you see this? Perfect, I'm glad you see this. You see this? You see this? Perfect, cool. You have you have great vision. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's try this out on our eyebrows first, yeah? Here we go. I need a mirror for this, I think. Oh my gosh. Uh, I feel like this is gonna, I'm gonna need some practice for this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. How do I hold the mirror and these at the same time? I just, uh, okay, we got this. Okay, I'll just use the camera, zoom finder. Oh, my eye looks so weird close up. Can you guys see it though? Can you guys see? It. Okay, so we got a good chunk of them right here. I'll try and pluck. This is so hard. How the frick? How the heck did the, they freaking do this? Ah! I'm pinching my skin. I think I got it. I think I got the movement down. I, think I got it. It's like this. My hand hurts already just doing this. Okay, I'll try this again. Maybe like that. I have to use two hands. I think. You ready? It's kind of red where where I pinched myself. This is. Ah! I think I got one. Nope. I missed it. This is way harder than I thought it would be. I need to put a mirror right here. This makes it so much harder to do everything. Oh my. My goodness, this is so difficult. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. I'll try out some of my hand hair, cause uh, you know, I got a lot of it. So here we go, you ready? So we're just going to, this is the most impractical application of anything I've ever seen. Oh, I got one. Oh my gosh, I actually got some. Oh! Woo! See that? Those are hairs. Those are real life hairs. Real so small tiny hairs. Ow! I can't do this anymore. I can't do it. My hand hurts too much. My freaking hand hurts way too much. Well, that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one I, I kind of works. Not really that practical, but I mean, if you're in a pinch and all you got is quarters, I guess uh, you could probably kind of do it. <laughs> anyway, let's do the next hack. Ah! Simply put your glue on a coin like this and stick it to any surface you like. Ooh, look, some money. I can't pick it up. Is this thing stuck to the table or something? What the heck? Super glue, baby. Oh, okay guys, so this looks like a good spot. Here's our glue, here's our coin. All we gotta do, put a few drops on this bad boy. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, we're just gonna go and stick it down. Ah. Oh my god, there's so much super glue around this now. Dude, that is never gonna come off. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's really on there. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a little bit and then we're gonna try this on Chris. Hey Chris, what the heck are you doing? Oh, uh, just so, uh, you know, exercise. Dude, get off that thing. Let's go outside and get some real exercise. We're going on a freaking walk. Okay. See, Chris, isn't this so much better? Yeah, it's great, dude. Anyway, let's walk. Whoa, Chris, what's that? Whoa. That's free money, dude. You should take it. All right, get a gumball or something. It's kind of sticky. Dude, there's something on this. I think it's glued to the concrete. You've been pranked! I super glued it to the floor! <laughs> it's, oh, not, no. it's not dry. <laughs> My fingers are stuck together too. Feel that. You've been double pranked! Kids don't do this at home. This is probably really dangerous. Oh my gosh! Oh. Dude! <laughs> no, my fingers stuck to yours! Man. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Okay, so this girl comes in and she's like, Hey! She's so hungry. Why does this look like my cabinet? All candy, all cereal, just random stuff. Just all junk food. That's totally me. So she goes to grab the cereal, and it just overflows all on her face. 
face. And at one point she's like, why does it take, it's been falling a long time. So she like checks her watch and she's like, I'm just embracing it. All this cereal. Whoa! That's how I'm trying to be. I just want to be covered in this cereal. This is amazing. Honestly. So her roommate's like, hey, you see the cereal box? Why'd you leave it open? So instead of closing it like a normal person where you just close the flaps over each other, she closes it like this. And then all of a sudden this is 100% better. Don't cereal boxes usually come with bags in them to kind of keep the cereal like good? Weird. Uh, well, I guess we'll, I guess we're gonna have to try this one. So here's our box of cereal. So apparently the first thing they do is fold these in just like that and they try and push the sides in. Okay. And they put one of these down like that. Looks good. And now for some reason they put it in here. Oh wow. What the heck is this? Huh. It's actually staying closed, kind of. There's a little gap right there. Wow. That's fun. I mean, I don't think it's really that much better than how you normally fold your box of Cheerios. I guess we could say that this one works! But my eyebrows are having a moment. A little teaming is in order. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Did you know aloe plants can make gel? Just sweep your brow brush into the gel. Then brush it through your hair like this. It'll dry clear. Check out that major difference. Okay, so I got these big old aloe vera plants that I actually stole from my neighbors. neighbors. Just kidding, I didn't steal them. There's a tag on them right there, see? <laughs> Don't steal, kids, that's bad. I spent $20 to have these things post made to my house. Totally worth it, even though I'm probably only gonna use one of them. Not even one of them, probably like this much of one of them. Now I just have to find myself a mascara. Okay. Oh. And my beauty box. Oh, no, not here. Uh, oh man, I'm making such a mess. I'm so gonna have to have the intern clean all this up later. Mascara, where are you? Do I have like a toothbrush? Wait, I actually keep an extra toothbrush in the guest bathroom. I keep multiple actually. Okay, perfect. Oh man. What a freaking mess. Oh my gosh, you won't believe what I just found. My goodness. Well, if one doesn't work, I always have the other. Okay, so here's our aloe vera. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off the tip. Here we go. And... And theoretically, it should just peel right apart. I mean, it was close. It tried. It tried. Oh my gosh, so slippery. Yeah! Now we're just gonna get our mascara and just uh, dip it in there. Woo! Yeah! I feel like this might ruin the mascara though. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Cool, let's test this out. Okay, so these are my eyebrows right now. I'm gonna mess them up a little bit. Oh yeah, they're definitely kind of everywhere, especially on this side. Do you see it? Do you see it? We're just gonna go ahead and get our mascara. We're just gonna brush them off to the side. Whoa, it's working! And my eyebrows are darker. Wow, they're a lot darker. Oh my goodness, wow. That's an improvement. My eyebrows are just extra dark now. Okay, I'm gonna try the other one. It's definitely sh helping shape my eyebrows. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. For this, you'll need a lint roller and a roll of toilet paper to put together like this. You'll need a blow dryer. Here's your toilet paper. Coming in hot, Amy. I hope you have another roll waiting. There we go. I really gotta clean out my car. Okay, so first we gotta set up our fishing pole. Real easy. Flip that. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, so here's this wallet. And we just take the string that you can't really see. We gotta see it. There it is. We're just gonna go ahead and tie it around. Cut off the access. Give it a little tug. Perfect. Okay, right, let's go try this out on Chris. Okay, guys, Chris is sleeping right there. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here. He'll never suspect a thing. Okay, guys, so I got this air horn to wake him up. Let's do this. One, two, three, go. Ah! 
You've been playing! I got you! <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Chris, I'm so glad that you came over. Mm -hmm. I'm just tired of all these long chords. Just so many chords. Oh, so many. You can always wrap it around your arm, but that takes forever. Good simple solution. Get your cable, wrap it around a pen just like this. Break out your hair dryer and just start hair drying this bad boy. And it should stay in a perfect spiral. Wow. Oh, it's like one of those old fashioned phone cords. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. I wonder if this one actually works. Let's try it. Okay, so here's our phone cord. Here's our pen. Let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy around the pen. Nice and tight. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of tape it into place. Yes, there we go. Then we break out our hair dryer and just hair dry this bad boy. They didn't really say how long to do this for, uh, but I'm going to do this for like a couple minutes. Five minutes later. Okay, I did it for about five minutes. Ooh, that wire is nice and toasty. I think I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off for a second, and then uh, I'm going to unravel it and see if it stays. Okay, so now that this guy is cooled down, let's go ahead and uh, take it off. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. It's a spiral. But when I pull it out, will it go back? You guys ready? Oh no. Uh, I don't really, I don't know how I feel about this one. Yeah, it doesn't really, I mean, it kind of stays shaped, but like when you pull it out, see that's straight again. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say, this one doesn't really work. Zero out of 10. Okay, so first we're gonna need some like a lipstick stuff, but I don't have any, uh, so I'm just gonna use this acrylic paint that I have. I'm sure it's like the same thing. So we're just gonna put that on our hand, and then we just kinda mix it up with our little brush. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, oh no, I caught myself. What do I do? So we do that, and then we just kinda get some glue, and then we dab that on there. I'm not sure exactly what the glue does, um, but I mean, I, I did it, so. Uh, <laughs> then we get some toilet paper. Just gotta whip that up, kinda like that maybe. Yeah, just like that. Then I'm not sure what they did here. I think they kind of like ripped it up a little bit, maybe. Maybe they just ripped some of the excess off like that. Yeah, that ought to work. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue on there just to kind of, you know, make it a little bit more liquidy. Maybe it'll dry better like that. Then they put a little bit more red stuff on there. Maybe it's to give it some texture to make it actually look like a gash. Then they went ahead and added some black. So I'm just gonna do that. Again, I'm pretty sure it's just to make it like have some more texture. So, uh oh. Yep, I definitely put way too much on there. Well, that's no good. Maybe I gotta dab it like that. Yeah, sure, that works. And last but not least, they put some petroleum jelly on it. Just gonna scoop that up, stick it on there. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks pretty good. This doesn't look like a real cut at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, now uh, let's try and test this out on tour. Okay guys, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend to fall and then cut my hand. Just gonna place the camera right here. I'm sure that she'll never notice it, okay? Just be real quiet. Shh. Bransky, where are you? I love you so much. Where are you? I don't want, I don't want gummy worm. I want you to kiss my hand. No, I don't want two gummy worm. I want you to kiss hand. Not three. Three. <laughs> I don't want you to kiss Can you believe that I fell and hurt my hand? You fell? I didn't know. You didn't hear, you didn't hear me crying? Wow. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I heard. Wow, what great girlfriend. I can't believe she didn't come when I hurt myself. Can you kiss it? I have one where it's really gross. Give me kisses. Rubbing it's black. I want kisses. I could give you band-aid. It's not the same. I can't believe that my girlfriend doesn't care that I cut my hand. What kind of girlfriend even are you? Wow, it's all better. It doesn't hurt anymore. Thank you so much. I love you. No, 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 no. What, you don't want me to get my cut on your hand? Try to rescue your fake blood on me. Try to rescue, it's real blood. I need you to give it a kiss. Give it a big kiss. Give it a Whoa. I don't give hand kisses. It, hand gross. It feels so good Ooh. now. Thank you so much, Tori Bransky. No problem. You really, you really healed me. Did I heal you? Well, guys, I guess we can say that the power of kisses works. Wait, that wasn't the prank, though. So, it, did it work? I guess this prank doesn't work. Boo! 
seriously, can I have kisses? I don't want kiss on there. <laughs> Gross. For this, you'll need a remote and some tape. All you need to do is put some double-sided tape on the buttons and stick the whole thing underneath the glass table. <laughs> hey, where'd the remote go? What the heck? <laughs> How on earth did this thing even get under there? Perfect. Now we just have to tape this puppy underneath the table. Here we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> the clear tape is definitely way more noticeable than the double-sided tape. I don't have any double-sided tape. I wasn't prepared for this. Ah! I'm just trying to make this stay up. I feel like this is gonna fall. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like from the top. It's pretty convincing uh, if you don't pay attention to like the tape. It looks pretty good. Let's try this out on Chris. Hey Chris, uh, what, are you, uh, what, are you, what are you doing there? Just hanging out. What's up? You look bored. Do you wanna go watch some TV or something? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go. Chris, what's your favorite show? Uh, I like Adventure Time. You like Adventure Time? Dude, I think that's that's on Netflix. Grab the remote. Mean, so, yeah, it's on, it's on Netflix, dude. Why is nothing at your house normal? <laughs> I got you! You've been great! Can't believe you didn't see that coming. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! I sure wish I could go outside. Ugh, these are really salty. My soda! Why is it so far away? Gotta have something handy that can help. I forgot about these straws. I'll just fashion my own device. This should work. Now we sit. Okay, so here are our straws. They're each seven inches long, and I have 80 of them, so that should equal about uh, 500 feet. But we're gonna test it out with just a couple feet first, and then I'm gonna go a little bit more extreme. So we just connect just like this. Put that in there, and boop -bidi boop Okay, let's try this. Boop. Wow, it seems to be working with two straws pretty good, but will it work? with three straws. So we're just gonna go ahead and add another one. Perfect, try it again. Oh, it's working. I'm just gonna keep adding them. I'm now about five straws in. Still working! Let's keep adding more straws. Okay, now to connect uh, our old straw to the new straw. Boom, bam, yes, ma'am. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. But first, I wanna run it through a few things. I'll be right back. Knock, knock. Oh, okay, I'm back. Here you go, just take that. Okay, done with that. So it's going in there and coming out uh, right there. Now let's see if this bad boy works. You ready? Oh my gosh! Yup, that's definitely soda. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one freaking works! Spray one half of the cookie with oil, then cover it with hot glue. When it's dry, take the cookie out. This will serve as a mold for you to put eraser clay in and put them into the box. Prank is ready. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the parchment paper. That way it doesn't stick to our surface. That's very important. Then we get our Oreos. There we go. I just need one, just a single one. Ooh, perfect. Then we go ahead and bring out our hot glue gun. Cover it in hot glue. Let's do this. Oh wait. No, I need to spray it in pan first, my bad. We go ahead and spray it in oil. I way overdid that. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Okay, you know what? Break out our hot glue gun. And just cover this bad boy up. Yes, get it all over it. You have to make the mold. Just cover this whole thing up. Now to wait for this to cool down a little bit. Okay, it is nice and cooled down. Let's try and take it out now. Oh, perfect. Yes, it looks good. Get out of there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any moldable erasers, but I do have crayon. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna melt some of this crayon into this. This should work perfectly, honestly. Just break out my lighter, just melt it in there. I don't see this is uh, going wrong at all. Some of the paper caught on fire, that is fine. Ugh, won't go out. Okay, next color. Let's try some red. Now for some green. Okay, yeah. Now I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit, and then we'll try and get it out. Okay, this looks pretty freaking dry. Let's do this. You ready to take it out? Yes! 
This looks beautiful. This looks just like an Oreo. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put it back with the other ones. Yes, it blends in perfectly. Tori will never notice. Now let's go test this out. Tori Nebraska, yes? I got you some Oreos. Oh, thank you, I like Oreos. Try the colorful one. It's colorful. Why is this one so much design? It's a special edition Oreo. It's a, it's a bonus Oreo. It doesn't smell very. I don't really want this one. Here, I'll eat it. Bratsky, are you saying that this is a real Oreo? Oh, it's delicious. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you put that in your mouth? It was really, it was really good. You want some? <laughs> Give me mama bear you. No, you can't. All right, here. So I'm proud. I'm so proud. You've been pranked. It's all on my floor. It wasn't a real Oreo. That was Wait. crayon. How gross. I can't believe you ate that knowing you it's crayon. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. That's gross. Have a fake hand like this one. After you stick it in your sleeve, place your arm on the edge of the car door or trunk, just like this. Once the trunk closes on your fake hand, it's showtime. Ah! Lily! My hand is stuck! What? Oh, no! Ha! You've been totally fooled, Lily. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I need to do is put on a sweater. <laughs> Perfect. It is kind of hot to be wearing a sweater right now, but I don't think Chris will notice. And the next thing I need is a hand. Unfortunately, I don't have a hand the size of my hand, but I do have a fake baby hand. I'm pretty sure Chris wouldn't notice the difference. Let's go try this bad boy out. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up? I'm really sorry for all these pranks I've been doing on you. I would like to take you to the movies as an apology for everything that's been going on. Yeah? You want to go? I'd love to go to the movies. Sick, let's go. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just got to get on my shoes really quick. This is harder than I thought. Good enough. Okay, yeah, let's go. Right. Yeah, 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 I got, I got it. Hey, Chris, do you think you could open the trunk for me? Yeah. There you go. Oh, thanks, dude. Yep, just as I thought. Still a mess. Yeah, you can, uh, you can go ahead and close it. Oh! 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 My oh! My oh! Oh! I can't believe you fell for that. It's giving a thumbs up. I guess we can say that this one works. <laughs> Hey, you ever want to just randomly dye your hair in the middle of a freaking video? I got blue hair! I'm back to being a blue boy! Yes! Let's do this. Anyway. You can pretend you're somewhere you're not. Ah, I'm having so much fun. Looks like fake it till you make it really works. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need some palm trees. Woo! Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go hit a wave. Oh my gosh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. Now for my blue screen. This is a green screen, but on the other side, it's it's, it's blue. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, put this back here. Pretty good. I just gotta figure out a way to make the shadow my face like this. Wait, my hair freaking blends in the back right now. I didn't think about this. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I got this light. And it's pointing at the palm tree, and it's going at this. And it kind of it kind of shows like the palm tree. Maybe if I adjust it a little bit, like oh uh, oh there we go. I just need to get it closer. Hey, do I get even more? Yes. Okay, let's try it. So I'm just gonna hide behind the palm tree and just be like, oh my god, this is great. Wow, my hair looks purple there. That I should do purple highlights. That would look sick. I need to point this down a little bit because you can't even see me. Please don't fall on me. I don't want to die. Oh my god, I'm in Hawaii. But the joke's on you guys, because I'm not actually in Hawaii. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and post this and see how many of you guys actually fall for it. Hawaii is beautiful this time of year. Okay, uh, add location, Hawaii. You guys will fall for it, watch. And I'm gonna share. Let's see how many of you guys actually fall for this. Okay, so here's another recipe for rainbow kettle corn. And this one is from Tasty. And boy, does that look tasty. What you're gonna wanna do is get 12 tablespoons of sugar and divide it, add food color, into each one, just like this. So many different colors! Then you just mix, mix, mix until the sugar's all different colors. Put some coconut oil, then you add your popcorn kernels, and individually do the colors. Then you just shake it up! Shake, 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 shake it! Yeah! You just shake up all the popcorn individually with the colored food dye sugar, and you should have colored popcorn! Ooh, add a little bit of salt! Wow! That looks <laughs> tasty. <laughs> and when you're done, you just mix all the different colored popcorns together! Dang, that looks pretty sick. I think that this one might work a little bit better than the last one. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so instead of doing six different colors, I'm just gonna go ahead and do three for the sake of simplicity. And we need 12 tablespoons of sugar. One, two, four, cool. 
Go ahead and add our food dye. Boop, boop, boop. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought. It just kind of clumps together. I think the solution here is more food dye. Yeah, red looks pretty good. Now to do the blue and green. Wow, yeah, these look very vibrant. I'm pretty happy with these. Okay, let's try and cook them. Here's our stove. Turn on our heat. Add our coconut oil. This one is uh, pet friendly, so the bench can eat it. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to break off. I think it's because it was frozen. This is proving to be a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, that ought to do it. And the instructions said to just add two pieces of popcorn kernels and wait till it pops, and then you know it's ready. This is a lot of smoke. I added a couple more. Oh, one did it. That's a lot of smoke. Well, I guess it's good enough. Just gonna add my popcorn kernels, add my sugar. And I think we just mix it up a little bit. I probably shouldn't be using a plastic fork for this. There we go. Go ahead and add the lid. Shake it up. Oh my gosh, it's actually popping. Ooh, it's starting to turn red. Dude, this is awesome. Okay guys, so my camera started overheating, so I didn't really get a majority of this popcorn popping. By the looks of it, it's actually starting to turn red. I'm gonna finish cooking it really quick. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my gosh, it's popping. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger pan. Oh no, I just put it in the bowl. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so glad this is actually working. Oh, dude, it all fell out. Oh my gosh. So far, this is pretty sick. It's actually working. Look, all the popcorn's red. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two colors. Some coconut oil. Boopity boop. Mix, mix, mix. Uh, that definitely doesn't look as good as the red. Okay, on to the green. Okay. Yeah, green looks nice and mixed. Ooh, and the green is done. Wow. It turned out pretty good. It looks like St. Patrick's Day popcorn or something. Go ahead and add it into the bowl. Oh, oh no. I completely burned the bottom part. Guys, I'm still the craft king, okay? Add the blue. Wow, now we got ourselves some rainbow popcorn. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but does it taste any good? Let's try it. It, it kind of tastes like kettle corn. It's not bad. It's not the best kettle corn I've ever had in my life. I definitely think that this one turned out way better than the one, two, three, go version. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the one from Tasty works. Okay, guys, so that looks like the first challenge it's doing 100 layers of makeup. Oh my god, it's the first layer. Not too bad. Just a, a four or five layers of concealer. A few layers of lipstick. A few more layers of concealer. A little bit more lipstick. A little bit more concealer. A little bit more concealer. A little bit more lipstick. Oh my gosh, what is she doing to her fork? Oh, what is going on? Oh my goodness, what the heck? At one point, she just gets a paintbrush and she just starts putting it on. You know what? I think I might actually do that. Ooh, okay, good technique. Good technique. And this is how it turned out. Dude, it's literally peeling off. That is wild. I've never done my makeup so much to where it like peels off like that. Anyway, now it's our turn. Okay guys, I'm back. So the first thing we gotta do is add our foundation. And this is gonna be really hard with one hand. Let's see if I can even open this. Oh my, oh, oh, I broke a nail! Oh, it has an applicator, that's good. This is going to be very difficult with these long, long nails. Oh, it's just a little too light to be my shade. Or maybe it's a little darker than my shade. I can't really tell. What counts as a layer? Does this count as a layer? Every every one of these is a layer. I, I guess I'll just go through all three of these and uh, see what happens. Just shoveling all of this makeup right on there. I just broke off another nail. Maybe I should attempt to try and do it with this hand. Oh boy. Here. Oh, oh yes. I can definitely tell that this is going to slow me down a bit. Sorry guys. I'm not that talented. Oh wait. I forgot to mention that we also have lipsticks and mascara. So let me start doing some lipstick, actually. Okay, here we go. Fuck her up. Mmm, yummy. 
I have to make sure not to lick my lips because I always do that with chapstick. And I guess I'll try it uh, with my other hand as tradition. Oh, it's a little easier to do chapstick, I guess. I just look so insane right now. Oh, I need to do mascara still. Actually, I don't think I want to do mascara. I don't like stuff near my eyes. That sounds awful. Oh my God, it's already leaking into my eye. Oh, I feel it. I need a towel. I feel like I've already somewhat failed. Oh, my eye is so red right now. Okay, so what I think I'm actually gonna do is just go ahead and start emptying all these into this bowl. This is so much makeup. Go ahead and get our paintbrush. And we're gonna go ahead and just, oh, that is thick. Oh my goodness. Now lipstick. Mmm, a little bit more concealer. Let's do this. Yep, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I'd say that's a hundred layers of makeup right there. Wow, I look insane. It's wonderful. Anyway, here's how to make a cool phone case out of hot glue. All you gotta do is get some plastic wrap, wrap that bad boy around your phone, get some hot glue, and then make sure to put it all around the edges. Make a few supporting lines. Oh wow, that looks great. Oh my gosh. Here's your phone case. Oh, I love it. It's great. Yay. <laughs> Time to make a phone case out of hot glue. Okay guys, so here's our phone. And unfortunately, it's a little bit warm. I actually dropped this bad boy out from a drone. Uh, it was wrapped in toilet paper. This is the best cheap $100 smartphone I've ever had. But I bet it would have survived a lot better if it had a phone case on it. So here's our plastic wrap. Wrap that around our phone. Get our hot glue gun. And just outline the outside, just like it said. Outline the camera. Then we gotta do the crossbars. I should have probably put this on parchment paper first. I feel a little silly. I feel like I need a better hot glue gun. Let's break out the big boy. Oh my god. It's like you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this uh, cool down for a little bit. Okay, it's all dried off and uh, here it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's pop our phone out. Oh, oh no. Okay. Yes. Oh, perfect. Just how I left And it. then do I leave the plastic wrap on? Or does it just like come off? I guess I'm just gonna rip off the extra plastic wrap. Slide that back on. Okay, yeah, it looks like a pretty uh, legit phone case. Oh, wow. I threw my phone and it didn't break. I mean, the case did fly off, but you know, it, it still works. Compared to this, if I threw my phone without the case. Oh, <sighs> what? Oh my, I'm not sure if this test is really conclusive. But you know what? This is a pretty styling phone case if you ask me. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I think I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a four out of 10. Uh Okay guys, so here's our Coca-Cola, and here are our delicious Pringles. Go ahead and pop that top. Put them all in a little Tupperware box. Oh my, oh wow. Look at that. Look how perfect those potato chips are laid out. Mm. Delicious. Then we open our Coke. What a perfect combo, salty and sweet. And we carefully put this in here somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without like spilling it everywhere. And then we carefully put the chips right back inside the can. There we go. So now the intern will go to grab it and he'll pour out the entire can of soda. It's truly the perfect prank. Oh wow, hello. If it isn't my favorite intern. Hi Robbie. How's it going buddy? Are, are everything okay? Yeah, I'm just showing this picture of us, man. To show how much I appreciate you. Do you like it? Yeah, is everything good? You're acting a little weird. Yeah, I'm just a little sad. Just thinking back about when you were nice to me. What do you mean? I'm still nice to you. Here, take these uh, chips. I got them for you. This Take them all. Yeah, those are all for you. Oh, that's really nice. Let me put away the gum. Uh, here, let me have it. I'll hold it for you while you eat them. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh thank you. Yes, I'll just keep this in, safely in my mouth. Okay. Dang, got my gum back. <laughs> well, Andrew, all those chips are yours. Um, just dump them right out on the table. Um, that's the best way to get them out. For real? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Intern, it's fine. Just Robbie, Intern, it's what okay. Are you doing? This is so gross, Robbie. Don't cry over spilled soda this? there. Why would you do that? I just, I just drew us a picture to appreciate our friendship. You don't even appreciate it. You do this. 
Bobby, why would you? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. You can have your gum back. Uh, it lost all of its flavor anyway, so. Oh, it's it's in the Coke, so maybe it'll get some of the flavor back. Anyway, have fun with that, intern. Is he okay? Okay guys, so for this one, I actually don't have a giant stuffed teddy bear, but I do have a giant stuffed Snorlax! So I guess what I have to do now is start taking the stuffing out. This is gonna take a while. Here we go! Oh my gosh, there's so much stuffing in here. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to try and fit in this with some of the stuffing still in there. So wish me luck! Oh boy, I don't know if I can do this. One foot, another foot, oh boy. Oh my god, it worked! Ah! How funny does this are look? You, are you? Oh! a lot of stuff and falling out. Oh no, I ripped it. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it exactly where it was before and then I'm gonna start calling Tori. I'm pretty confident that this one works. She'll never see it coming. Now I just have to get in there. Oh, oh that kind of hurt. Okay, I'm ready. Tori to Bratsky! Oh, Tori to Bratsky! Man, it's so hot in here. Boo! Did I scare you? No, I can see your butt. What? <laughs> you can see my butt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so hot in there, Tori. You see all this stuff? Did I get you? No. You know where I was the whole time? I could see your butt. Your butt was sticking out. Dang it. I should have covered my butt. And also the camera's just like in the middle of the room pointed at the Snorlax. Tori Dabransky, are you saying that I did a bad job on this prank? I mean, you could have hit it a little bit better. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one doesn't work. Or maybe I just did it wrong. Probably the second one. Okay, so you're getting ready to go on a jog and you don't have any pockets. What? No pockets? Oh, how frustrating. This is how every girl in America feels. As someone who wears girl skinny jeans, I demand better pockets. Anyway, you try and stick that bad boy in your sock, but you know what? I feel like it's not gonna work. That's just gonna fall right out, right? Oh, there must be a better solution. Put it in your underwear, maybe? Oh, but that bad boy, it'll fall right out your pant leg. Oh man, that was a, that was so close. Oh, what else, what else could I do? Look it, it's freaking Susie. <laughs> and she, her phone is just on her arm. How is she doing it? Oh, that gives me a brilliant I can't just take off the case. Shove that bad boy in your sleeve. I just have a phone arm now. There's no doubt in my mind that this one will work. There's no way. But for benefit of the doubt, I guess I'm gonna have to try it. Okay, here's my phone. Take off my phone case. Shove it right inside my arm sleeve. I don't know, guys. I I'm not sure if I can trust this. Now we're just gonna place it. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. It's just staying in my sleeve. How is this even? Impossible! What? This is amazing! Hey guys, I guess we're gonna- Oh, it fell out. Uh, no, I had my doubts, but I guess I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. It fell right out. If I was jogging, my phone would be broken. And it wouldn't even be inside of a phone case. So two, three, go. I'm starting to have some trust issues here. It's going pretty good. Um, how are you enjoying that gum that, that uh, I spit out into the soda earlier? I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm still, I don't know, the soda did give it more more of a kick. You were right. This guy's acting a little weird. <laughs> well, in turn, I have a surprise for you. Um, just give me one second, okay? All right, Robbie. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's our Play-Doh. Take that top off. I just take out a good little piece, just like this. Oh yeah, that looks good. I just kind of crumble it up so it looks like gum. Yes. <laughs> I'll never fall for this twice. Maybe even just stick this up right in there. Yeah, make it convincing it's table gum. Oh, hey, intern, I'm back with your gift, and it's this under-the-table gum. Why are you giving me under-the-table gum? Uh, I'm giving it to you to uh, put in your hair. <laughs> You know, Robbie, you're never gonna change. I'm always gonna be pranked by you. Nothing's nothing's gonna change, and I'm I'm going to accept that. This is just the way you are, and we need to accept that. Robbie, I'm actually just a figment of your imagination. Wait, 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 what? I'm not even here right now.
what, do you, what do you mean the intern? You don't have an intern, Robbie. What do you mean I don't have an intern? You, you don't have an intern. What are you talking? I don't have an intern. Enjoying the view? Um, the one off screen? I think it's time we get off our phones for a while. Had a slit in a water bottle like this. Make sure it's as long as your phone. Oh, you guys, so here's our water bottle. I made sure to grab a really big one, that way Tori's phone would fit. Now we just gotta slice this bad boy open. We just, uh. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with my phone. You ready? One, two, and. Boom! Sweet! So I think it works so far. Uh oh, how do I get it out? Ah, it's kind of wet in there. I should probably dry it off before I test it on Tori's phone. Just kind of dry it off a little bit on the inside. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now time to test this out on Tori. Oh, Tori to break! That's how you call the wild Tori Dabransky, if you didn't know. She's coming, guys. There she is. Whoa. Hey, Tori Dabransky, do you want to see magic trick? Sure. Can I see your phone? Oh, let me go grab it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awkward. Okay, I'm back. Here you go. Okay, Tori Dabransky, so see this water bottle? Yeah. I'm going to make this disappear. You ready? One, two. <laughs> Boom! Oh, no! Oh. How will you get your phone out, Tori? It's stuck in the water. The bench. bench. You're a problem solver. You know what to do. The bench. What do we do? How do we solve this? Can you do it? Bench. Can you figure it out? I don't think he knows. I think the bench is stumped on this one. Can Tori Dabransky figure it out? What? Oh my gosh! You're sticking your hand in the water. How are you doing that? This is so scary. What? Oh my gosh! She figured it out. Oh. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Did I get you? No. I mean. Yeah, sure, Robbie. Woo! I, I never suspected a thing. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Ice cream? Oh, yeah, that's bad. Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. All we gotta do is grab some shaving cream, put it in a cup. Yeah, that looks pretty passable as ice cream. Stick a spoon in there and boom, we got some ice cream. Now let's see if it'll work on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky, I have a sweet treat for you. I made you some ice cream. Do you want to try? Yes. It's some good ice cream. I think you'll really enjoy it. It doesn't really look like ice cream, bro. Tori, that is 100% real authentic ice cream from real cow. It looks like whipped cream. Oh my god, you're so gross. <laughs> I got you! I break you! That's so gross, Rob. Yeah, spit that out before you get sick. I, I don't um, think you should actually eat that. Well, I already ate it, so. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Did you like? No, I don't like. I don't approve. I got you. <laughs> okay, so this one looks fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a cup. Then I'm going to cut a little hole in the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get a straw, put that in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue gun and kinda just seal up the bottom. Looks good. Gonna go ahead and let that sit for a sec. Okay, now that the hot glue is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and get our box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole right here. Boop. Does the straw fit? It just barely fits. I feel like I'm gonna need to make it a little bigger. Okay, there we go, perfect. Gonna go ahead and hot glue all around it. Hot glue the bottom. Okay, there we go. Gonna go ahead and let this cool off for a sec. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach a straw to this little straw right here. Okay, yeah, it looks good, perfect. Here we go. Just gonna fill, oh. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode! I almost pranked myself! I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this cup up and just hope that my hot glue seal holds. I'm really hoping that I don't get coke everywhere. And here we go. Is it leaking? I think we are good! Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my cup. Boop, 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 boop! <laughs> then I have to somehow slip this coke bottle into the straw without messing everything up. Oh man, I'm just hoping I don't spill. Oh my gosh! Okay, not sure how I'm gonna do this one. Go, just gotta be real careful. Here we go. Haha! -ha! I did it! Okay! Put mine on top. Boom! 
Okay, let's go and try this out on Chris. Hey, Chris! Hey, what's up? I have a challenge for you. Oh, all right. What's up here? Hey, Chris, so the name of the game is who can drink uh, the cup of Coke the fastest? Really? Yes. Okay. You ready? One, Round one. two, three, Fight. go! Chris, you gotta hurry up! Dude, what the heck You is gotta hurry up! You still have all that Coke left! Stop! Mine's not going down! You been <laughs> pranked! Dude! I pranked you! Bro! That's a really good one. I got you. You got me. That's a good one. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Try this prank on for size. Well, this ought to be the trick. Oh my goodness! Sophia! Sorry, help her! Give me that thing. That's it. Okay, so as you guys probably know, I actually re-pierced my own lip. So I'm pretty sure that Chris will actually believe that I pierced my tongue myself. So let's see if he actually falls for this one. Here's our tongue. Here's our toothpick. It's a little bigger than a toothpick. Maybe a giant's tooth. Anyway, okay, let's try this. Oh, hey, Jordan! Hey! What's how, up, dude? How's it going? Good, man. Yeah, so, okay, so you know how I pierced my lip a, a little while ago? Uh -huh. Today, I want to pierce my tongue. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, dude, it'll be fine. Is this for YouTube? I don't think you should do it. What? Chris, no, it's gonna be a great idea. Like, I do not regret piercing my lip at all. So here's what I'm using today. It's a regular old shish kebab. I don't know if that's even gonna work. No, I need to gauge it up. My ring is around here somewhere. You have a tongue ring? Can you sterilize this while I get my tongue ready? Chris, I need you to sterilize it. I don't know if I wanna be a part of this. Chris, here's some pliers. Here's my blowtorch. Okay. And just freaking sterilize that thing for me. Okay. All right, dude, there you go. Cool. Okay, now it's time for the for the hard part. I'm gonna pierce my lip. Okay, I'm really scared about this. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Three, two, we're done. No, no, what are you freaking me? Get it in the middle. Not even you close. You fell for it. It was way you off. You totally fell for it. That would have got like harder or something. <laughs> Moral of the story, guys, don't pierce your own anything. It's a bad idea. Terrible idea. You didn't put it in. No. You pushed out. Wow, Chris. We didn't even unscrew the thing. <laughs> we should have took the ball off in the first place. I got you. You've been pranked. I've been pranked. Well, I'll see ya. All right, bye. I'm gonna go get myself a tattoo. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've done this one before, but I didn't do it correctly, and Tori ended up getting it uh, really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our glasses, like these. Then I have a whole box full of locks right here. Just gonna go ahead and unlock that really quick. And then we go ahead and put them on the glasses, like so. Uh, almost there. Aha! Uh-oh. It's not going on. Ah! Dang it. What am I gonna do? I think this prank was on me. Hold on a sec, guys. I think I actually got them actually stuck. How could I do this to myself? I pranked myself. Okay, you didn't did it. Maybe this lock will work. So I'm gonna set the code. Or how about three, four, five. Yeah, that ought to do it. Nice and simple. Okay, maybe this, this lock will work on this. I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I have to uh, do it like this. I think I'm just gonna try and put two locks on it this time. Yeah, that ought to do it. Haha, <laughs> take that, Tori Dabransky. You'll never be able to use your glasses now. Now it's time to test this out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! Guess what? What? I have imprisoned your glasses. <laughs> oh no, I dropped the key. No, 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 no! I imprisoned your glasses and there's nothing you can do! Why would you do this, Robbie? How am I ever gonna get it out now? You're never gonna guess the combo! You're never gonna be able to use your glasses again! I forgot the combination, Tori. And I ate the key! I didn't just let you drop it. No, that, that was a fake key. That was not a real key. I got you! <laughs> In the open. You've been pranked! I've been... Hey, Tori, what's that behind your ear? It's the key! <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! Well, guys, I guess we could say that this prank worked! <laughs> Wait, how'd you get the combination? <laughs> how'd you guess the combination? How'd you know? I don't know how to open this one. I gave up on this one, so I just slid it off. Dang, I guess this one didn't work. One, uh, it kind of worked, but it didn't work. No! 
Have an empty glue bottle? Wash it out with soap and water. Fill it with something sweet. Time to fill her up. Looks an awful lot like glue, right? Put the cap on, and you're done. Oh, okay, guys. First things first, I'm gonna need some glue. Luckily, I have a whole tub of glue right here. Oh, yeah, that should do. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this little one inside of this big one because this one's almost empty. Don't want to waste glue! <laughs> Pop that off. Perfect. I just gotta get this in here. Just real carefully without messing up. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Oh my god, I'm really good at this. Oh my gosh, I can do this from so far away. Dude, I bet I could do this from like 10 feet. Now this is what I'm talking about. I love a challenge. I'm gonna do it from all the way up here. You ready? And... Oh, I'm doing it! It's working! I'm doing it! Yes! Oh, yeah. oh no! I messed up! Get in there! Freaking get in there! Get in there! Okay, yeah, that should be good. Okay, now it's time to clean this dirty boy. Okay, nice and clean. Now they said to use something sweet, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use frosting. Okay, now let's try and get this inside here. So just uh, take that off, and it should just... Oh no. Uh, uh, dang, I should have got something a little more liquid. Uh, maybe this will help? I feel like I have to cut this top off. This ought to do the trick. Oh no. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the hole's like non-existent. Looks like I might have to make the hole a little bigger. Yeah, that ought to do. Or maybe a little bigger. Yeah, that would be perfect. And now we just be very careful. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now we got our frosting. I'm just trying to kind of suck it up. Oh, some of it went in. Oh, wow. I just got to go deeper. Okay, how's that? Oh no. Let's see, will it go in? Nope. Oh, the tiniest bit. Honestly, I didn't really think about the logistics of this. Uh, try it again. Oh, that's a little better. I'm just gonna keep doing this till it's kind of full. It might take me a little while. <gasps> no! It appears that I've cracked the syringe. Honestly, if this video doesn't make me a diabetic, I don't know what will. Okay, yeah, looks like we got this about as filled as we're going to get it. Take all the extra off. Mmm, delicious. There we go. Twist that back on. Okay, now let's try this bad boy. Okay, let's do this. Just untwist that. I wonder if it'll come out. You ready? Uh, <laughs> kind of tastes like glue. Uh, no, it doesn't taste like glue. Wow, this actually kind of looks like it too. Uh, pretty tasty. Wow. Anyway, well, that's like a subject accident. This one works. If you have clear glue, you can pour it right into the plastic bottle without anyone knowing. Hey, need some Sandy? Here you go. What's wrong with my hair? I can barely move them. Okay, guys, so the first thing I need is some hand sanitizer. Check. Now I need some glue. Nope. 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 Yeah. Nope. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Time to put this stuff into this stuff. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty full. I don't think Chris will ever know the difference. Okay. Now let's go try this out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Hi. Hey, I bet your hands feel really, uh, you know, gross from doing all these freaking pranks on me! Maybe. Why? What's, what's going on? Caught you dirty-handed. You're red-handed, sir. So you need some hand sanitizer. I didn't do anything. Hands up. I didn't do anything, but I used some hand sanitizer, actually. Thanks. Sweet. No, this is really, really weird feeling. I think that, Chris! Nah. That's what you get for pranking me, dude! I do not like this! Dude, no. get the glue off my hands! Come on! Stop your hands for a Dude, come on! Please! Somebody help! Somebody help! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! Take that, Chris! You never saw that one coming. <laughs> if you have dark bags on your eyes, red lipstick can be used to cancel out the color. Simply dab it on lightly, just like this. Once that's done, use a blending brush to smooth things out. Pretty soon, the colors will start to cancel each other out. Dab some concealer on top. Blend it in with your brush. Hey, your bags are gone, Lily. Woo! Okay, guys, so here's our lipstick that we're putting on my eyes. Okay. 
This is looking pretty promising. Get our trusty mirror. That's what you guys look like if you didn't know. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I could definitely see this working. Oh no. I really hope this works. Otherwise, it's gonna look really silly. Oh my gosh. What on earth? Oh, this is flavored lipstick. Why'd I do that? Okay. Uh, now it's time to dab it in, I guess. I got my trusty dusty uh, beauty blender. Okay, let's let's blend this in. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh no. Oh no. I I'm not feeling this at all. I don't like this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh. Now for the other eye. I'm really good at doing my makeup. Oh, uh, yes. I'm just really good. Oh, this looks so bad. I mean, this looks great. One, two, three, go. It's never let me down before. Okay, so uh, looks like I, I just got pepper spray. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, then we get some uh, concealer to help cover that up. I usually put a lot of this stuff on my eyes. I'm really hoping this looks presentable. That way I don't look weird. Oh, it's not looking very good in the mirror. It looks like I literally got pepper sprayed and I'm trying to cover it up. Oh, oh, actually, oh, not bad. I'm pretty happy. Wow, that's not bad. Oh, well, might as well do the rest of my makeup. I probably put way too much cover up on and you guys are gonna tell me down in the comments and I probably should care, but I really don't. Hashtag savage. Okay, so I had my doubts, but you know what? Not bad. Wow. Can we go ahead and get a before and after picture here? Okay, so this is uh, this is my makeup now and this is me before. What? What? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, now time to do the rest of my makeup. Okay, so first things first, we gotta take our pencil and remove the eraser. That was easy. <laughs> then we get some bubble gum. Oh, here we go. I wonder if this would be enough. I'm gonna try and blow a bubble real quick. You guys ready? That's way too much bubble gum. This hurts my jaw. Okay, anyway, now we just go ahead and put this on our pencil. Here we go. Okay, I think I might have chewed a little bit too much bubble gum for this. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, just like a normal pencil eraser. Perfect. <laughs> there was one flaw that I had with this. I forgot to sharpen the pencil. <laughs> just gonna sharpen that up really quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This looks like a, a normal pencil eraser if you ask me. Now it's time to test it out on Tori. <laughs> oh, Tori Dabransky! I'm gonna pretend like I'm practicing my signature and then I'll ask her to write hers and then I'll be like, I think we ran out of paper, so I think you have to erase it to try again. I think that'll work. Tori Dabransky, I've been practicing my signature and I wanna see how yours is. What's wrong with your pencil? It's a normal pencil. I don't know what you're talking What's about. What's wrong with it? Here, write your signature. Oh that looks so gross, Robbie. I ran out of paper. You have to erase it somehow. <laughs> Tori, what are you doing? Your eraser's broken. Um, What's wrong with your eraser? I don't, I don't know. It looks like it melted. I got you. That's so great. You've been pranked, Tori Dabransky. That's not an eraser. That's bubble gum. No, really. I got you. Well, Tori Dabransky, you've been pranked. Yeah, oh, that's so gross. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Ooh. You want some bubble gum? I don't. That's Here, take some bubble gum. Taste it. No. Toy. Why don't we change the lens? Panoramic ought to work. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Round two. Start by panning upward just like this. Don't worry about going too slow. Arms up. Spider-Man has entered the building. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna make Tori look like freaking Spider-Man. I'm excited. Ready? Okay, so we got the panorama. Uh, get, like get a little bit closer. I think so. So you're gonna have your arms down like this? Yes, perfect. Okay. Ready? And, okay. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, I'm definitely not doing this right. Okay, I gotta redo this. Okay, ready? And good, and move up. And then up. Oh my gosh, no. It has to be super long now. I don't think what? it took. Oh wait, it did. Oh no. No, it didn't work. Okay, we gotta try it again. I think I had you move too soon. Ready? And. And then for some reason I have to go all the way over because it's a 360 pan. It made you small. I don't know. It didn't work. Okay, ready for the next one, guys? And I got. I think it worked. Oh, Tori! I think you actually have. Yes! We have transformed Tori into a spider woman! And they only have four arms, but we're halfway there! You wanna try it with me now? Yeah! Okay, now it's my turn. Just tell me what to do. Ready? Yeah. 
How's it look? Does it look dumb? I want to see. It didn't work at all. You just have like the last photo of you putting your hands on. <laughs> Did you put it up there? No. Put a thumb shadow. Your hands are down. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. I'm ready. It worked? No. Oh, oh, did it again. <laughs> Where your hands are just down and then up. <laughs> That's weird. What did you do? Okay. Maybe you gotta be closer. Can I move your hand? I think it worked. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Try it the other way. Okay. How's it look? This is that one. Why did that happen? Okay, guys. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one kind of works. works. With me. It sometimes works. You have to be Tori Dabransky for it to work. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Sorry, guess, Robbie. I guess we're gonna have to say this one kind of works. On to the next craft. Want a sharp knife? I'll give you one. I'll pretend it's sharp anyway. Hey, Amy, is this knife sharp enough for you? No! Lana, stop crying, Amy. I was just pranking you. I'm fine, see? Okay, hey guys, so I ordered pizza and it just arrived, but I feel like Chris is about to prank me again. So I'm gonna beat him to the punch. I guess we just, and then you just kind of draw on the side of this little knife. Looks good. Oh. That's some inside my nose. I can't even see it because it's a black knife. It's perfect. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> okay, now let's try this out on Chris. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't think Chris will ever see this coming. Oh, hey, I'm Jordan! Hey, dude, the pizza's here. You want some pizza? Yeah, it's sure. really good pizza. Okay. Here, I'll cut you a slice. Actually, it's really good. What are you doing, Chris? No! Chris, I cut myself! Yes, I We need a truce at least for lunch. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can do this one works. <laughs> you got me, dude. I got you. Oh. That was good. Try to sort the candy by color now. Red or green? Oh, you guys, so this is gonna be a fun challenge. So we got our Skittles. Now we just need ourselves a colorful light. Luckily, I have one right here. Looks like it's time to break out my drill. Okay, let's hope I don't break my neck. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, got it! Okay, now let's have some freaking fun. Okay, here we go. Plug that in. Woo, that is a bright light. Now let's change this to red. Whoa. Turn off all our other lights. Okay, everything is red. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up a little higher. There we go. So here are our Skittles. Now let's see if we can sort them under this red light. Oh my god. This, uh, <laughs> this might actually be harder than I thought. Um, okay, I think this is green. You know what? You know what? Uh, I have an idea. So here's a plate. I'm gonna go ahead and write red, R for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, oh, you can actually kind of see color there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sort it like that. Oh no, I think the white actually gives it context, so I can't even do that. Now I can see what color they are. That's cheating. We don't want that. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the plate. Oh my gosh, dude, they all look the same color when it's blue. I changed it from red because I could kind of start telling the difference between the colors. But with blue, I can't tell any of them different. They all look the same color. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Okay, so I have all the different colors now and I have to try and sort them. This is gonna be really hard. They all look red and purple to me. So uh, this really doesn't help because I'm also colorblind. Okay, so this is red. Oh, okay, red's a little easier. So I think this is yellow. I didn't realize there was this much yellow. I gotta switch it back up. Can't make this too easy on me. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna try getting really close. Dude, I cannot tell the difference between any of these. These literally all look like the same color. This is wild. I didn't think that this was possible. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm switching back to red. Uh, I think this is green. 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 These look like green. So these look like red. Purple, yellow. Oh, these are original Skittles, that's why. Okay, you guys ready to see how I did? This is with the red light. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, I totally, what? Holy crap, dude, the orange and the red are completely, what? How did I mix up orange and red? And then the yellow and orange are like, at least I got the purple and green right, that's good. But dude, this is actually really hard. Did you know Skittles can turn into paint? All you need is a little water. That's an interesting technique. Okay, so here are our cups that we are going to be putting our paint in. Bunch of green, some red, purple, yellow, and I'm actually gonna add blue because I just really like blue. You got any blue Skittles in here? Okay, these all look pretty good. Oh, wait, there's an orange Skittle in here. Yeah, get out of here. Now add our water. I don't know how much water I'm actually supposed to add. I'm just gonna add enough to kind of like lightly cover the Skittles. Ooh, that one had a little too much. Sweet. I guess we'll just mix them up a little bit. Ooh, this one's looking pretty good. That purple though. Last but not least, a blue. Okay, put these all off to the side. So let's see, what should I paint? Um, let's just see if this even paints first. So we got yellow. This is a yellow paint. Ah, uh, it's a little watered down. Maybe it's because I added too much water. Now let's try the blue. Uh, blue's like the same thing. Not too, uh, vivid. Now for the green. Oh, the green kind of looks like yellow. The yellow looks kind of like a, a gross green, actually. Not feeling it. A little bit more pigment in this one. Now for the orange. Oh, orange is not bad. Actually, I think this is red. That's not too bad. And time for the purple. It's okay. I'm not like super impressed with any of these. These are extremely watered down colors and uh, it's actually leaving a little bit of like stain behind. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kinda works. Wouldn't fully recommend unless you're like a professional painter or something. Maybe you know how to do this, but this is not in my realm. Things are about to get delicious. Yeah, they're supposed to stay in there. I hate feeling all sticky. Put on the spread. Add the second piece of bread. Cut off all the crust. With a fork, press down all the edges. Now take your little pouch and pop it into the toaster. Then cut it down the middle. And there you have it. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is friggin' bread. You ever been hit with bread before? It's not fun. It hurts a lot, actually. But not as much as getting hit with Nutella. And I'm not talking about the contents. I'm talking about the whole jar. Uh, Anyway, just glob our Nutella on here. This is so much sugar. Did you guys know that half of Nutella is sugar? It says it literally right there. 21 grams out of 37 grams serving. So that's literally freaking, that's more than half. Oh my gosh. Well, it's a good thing I don't eat these very often. Just slap that on, cut our crust off. Then we get our fork and just kind of start stamping this bad boy down. Uh, that's not look very good. Maybe I have to get another one and just kind of uh, put it on top of it to patch it. This bread is incredibly soft. I kind of put like a band-aid on it to kind of help it a little bit, but um, not looking too good. <laughs> I might have put a little too much Nutella on there. Anyway, I don't need this anymore. Then we go ahead, oh, the whole thing fall fell out. Then we go ahead and break out our toaster. And then we just uh, carefully <sighs> this is totally gonna break my toaster, but I'm gonna do it for the craft. Now we just gotta wait for this to pop out. A few moments later. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, where did it go? Oh, oh my gosh, guys! It freaking works! Look! It's the perfect sandwich! <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. This is the real sandwich. Well, guys, I guess we can say this one freaking works. You can put candy right in the brush. They fit perfectly under the bristles. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a brush. And I don't know if you could tell, but I I literally, I never brush my hair. It's just, it's always straight like this, and I don't know why. But I think I know the perfect place where I can get one. Let's just hope Tori doesn't mind. Oh, I really hate to do this, but uh, here we go. Okay, okay, I see Tori. I'm gonna be really careful. Where's brush? Let's see, brush. 
Are you a bra- You're not a brush! You're my stickers! Well guys, I guess this is a good time to plug my merch. Just so you guys know, I got a bunch of these cute little stickers of me and the Benj that I have made. That's me, that's the Benj. I got blue hair. That's one of my favorite hairs. I think I'm gonna go back to blue pretty soon. I got some cool Pizza Pixel stickers. Matched my Pizza Pixel shirt, which you can also get. All my merch is gonna be down in the description down below. But anyway, we don't need freaking stickers. We need a freaking brush. Okay, and... Oh, perfect! Now that we have our brush... Okay, guys, so here's our brush, here are our Skittles, and then we just gotta take this thing off. Oh, wait, this doesn't really come out that easy. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need something to get this puppy open. Uh, nah. Maybe? Definitely not. Nope. Ooh! Nope, 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 nope. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go with the screwdriver. And maybe we could just shove this in here and just pry it out, maybe? Come on, you've got this. Oh, oh, I think I did it. The goal is not to break the brush, though. Oh, come on, come on. No, I'm ripping it. Dang, they really made this brush very well. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna try my pliers. <laughs> One of the bristles went straight into my thumbnail like that. That was not fun. Let's see, and maybe we can pull it ever so gently. I feel like I might end up breaking this thing. Uh, come on. Oh, that thing's definitely ripped. And I'm losing so many of these. Well, we're gonna just, we're just gonna go for it. Uh, uh, okay, you know what? The hole's big enough. We could just put our candy on there. There we go. I'm just kind of. Oh no! I lost my Skittles. Back here. Candy? Oh, what candy? I see no candy here. I just have a trusty brush for uh, brushing my hair, man. Oh yeah, see? My hair has never been more brushed in my life. Oh, that looks really, that looks really weird actually. Oh no. Okay. Nothing suspicious here, teacher. I just got my normal brush. <laughs> She'll never find out. But little does she know, I'm stashing candy in this thing. Mmm, delicious! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Okay, so you're trying to make a cake with your mixer and then you're not paying attention and all of a sudden you just get the cake batter all over your face! Oh, oh my god! It's all over the walls now? All over your soda? All over your stove? And your friend just walks in, Oh my god, what happened to you? <laughs> If this happened to one of my friends, I would be very concerned as well. Here's a simple life hack. You just get a plate, flip that bad boy over, and you cut a slit where you're gonna put your mixer. Insert your mixers. Now you got a handy shield from your cake batter. Now this will never happen to you again. Unless you want it to. Oh no. Okay, let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our bowl. I'm gonna try and uh, mix some flour and some water together. That looks pretty good, but you know what this needs? A little bit of food coloring to make it easier to see. Let's add it in there. Perfect. Time to mix. Mix, mix, mix. I don't know how she managed to get it everywhere because I'm not having any problems. Oh, I'm mixing it up. I got it everywhere. This honestly isn't that big of an issue, but I guess for the sake of the craft, I'll try it. Go ahead and make a slit in our plate. Insert our mixer, put it back in the Mixatron. Now theoretically, we should have a shield against this mess. Wow, so convenient. Looks pretty good to me. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Take a small thin rubber band like this one and attach the earring back to it like this. Go ahead and add on about five or six more if you have them. Want to know what to do next? Hook the rubber band onto the back of your molars like this and place the band over your front teeth. Woo, okay, so here are our earrings. Here's our rubber band. I probably shouldn't have done a blue rubber band on a blue background, but uh, ah! back to yellow it is. Okay, take a few of these off. Oh boy, this craft ensure is hard work. Now I just gotta put the backs onto this rubber band. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now let's try and put this on my teeth. Here we go. So apparently, I just put them right on my teeth. So let's just, uh, it doesn't want to stay on. Uh, I think I might have to tie it a little bit. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, that that should fit. Dude, my dentist is gonna kill me if he ever watches this video. So we just, uh... This is way harder than it looks. 
And there we go! Oh! It doesn't like to stay. It likes to move. Okay, so as soon as I open my mouth, it comes right off. So it's really impractical. So I'm really sorry, all you e-girls that are watching this, but uh, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Boo! Not all magic is done behind the camera. This finger's right in front of it. Shoot, Amy, get out of here! Hey, my arms! Watch those fingers! I can fight back, you know. Ouch! Okay, so first one, Tori Dabransky, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go over there. I'm gonna poke you and you gotta react to it. Ready? Poke and a, a poke. Oh my god, Tori Dabransky! Why are you doing that? That's me. Okay, ready? Oh, why are you oh, hitting okay. yourself in the face? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh. Tori, what are you doing? Stop oh, no. oh. oh my god! Skittles in a pan. Then you're gonna wanna add some popcorn kernels. Add a little bit of olive oil, put your top on, and just watch those bad boys pop. Wow! Fantastic! When you're done, it should look something like this. Oh, color popcorn? That's amazing. Dude, this actually looks really cool. But I wonder if it'll actually work. Here's our pan. Turn on our fire. Add in our Skittles. I'm gonna use a lot of Skittles because I feel like that'll help a lot. Now we add the olive oil. <laughs> Last but not least, the popcorn kernels. Put on the top. Now it's just time to shake it. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think that this method will work. I think I have to wait a little bit for it to start popping. Oh, oh my gosh, it's starting to pop. Oh, I have to shake it. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay. You got the Skittle popcorn? Oh my god, it's getting it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that can't be good. I'm just gonna keep shaking it until they all just pop. The olive oil's just getting everywhere. Yeah, and that's what our popcorn looks like. That's pretty gross. Maybe I added too many Skittles, I don't know. It's definitely all popping. Oh, and it's smoking, oh my gosh. I need to turn on the vent. Oh my gosh, whoa! Well, the popcorn is definitely uh, not super colorful. I mean, we got a little bit of red in there, but is it any good? Oh, that tastes so weird. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. The popcorn doesn't even taste that good. What a letdown. Attach a rubber bug to a string and tape it to your notebook. <gasps> Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need one of Tori's books. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, now we just have to get our spider. This is a little Minecraft spider. I don't know if you guys can tell. Do you guys even play Minecraft? I feel like you guys don't even play Minecraft. You guys wouldn't even get this reference. And we just open it up and tape it in. I'm not even gonna tape it. I don't wanna ruin this book. Okay, looks good. Let's put it back. Wow, I'm having so much fun for Apple Crossing. <laughs> what my book set? Oh, why, why, why is there a spider? Hi, thank you. Why is there a spider in here? Aren't you so scared of that spider? Wow, that's beautiful. You've been pranked. Yeah. I like the spider. Can I keep it? Nope, I gotta go. Oh, yeah. No, that's my book. <laughs> for this prank, all you need is a deflated balloon and a can of chips. Simply fill up the balloon with water from your faucet. Once it's over the edge, roll the foil back over and place the plastic lid back on. Oh no, she is in for a messy surprise. There she blows! Okay guys, so here are our Pringles. Let's just pop that top off. Ooh, fresh. Take all these bad boys out. What's your guys' favorite chip flavor? Let me know down in the comments down below. My favorite has to be sour cream, I think. They're pretty freaking good. Mmm, delicious. Okay. Get all this out of here. Okay, then we get a balloon, put it inside the Pringles can, and then we go ahead and fill it up with water. It's perfect. This is the perfect crime. Then we put the cap back on. Yeah, I don't think Chris will ever notice. Let's try this puppy out. Okay, Jordan. Here we go. 
What's up, dude? I got you a delicious can of Pringles. I'm oh, sick. I love Pringles. Whoa. I got you. You've been pranked. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say this one works. Do you have any real Pringles, though? Because I kind of want some. No, I got to go. They're all mine. Those Pringles are all mine. Whoa. Look at that thing go. Looks pretty good, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a drill. And then we add our bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now for the super hard part. Here we go. I'm gonna use the table to maybe help uh, make this process a little smoother. You ready? One, two, in. And there we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and test out the Peeltron 5000. We'll start off slow. You ready? And. Weird. Maybe the other way. Oh my gosh! That was like instant. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we'll do it again. Ready? One, two, in. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! That freaking did it! Oh my gosh! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. My lens is so covered in apple juice right now. Ah! These things are good for more than tape. They make great gum dispensers. Whoa. Okay, guys. So, has this ever happened to you? Oh my god, that is solid. Oh no! My package for my bubble tape is broken! What am I supposed to do? Well, you don't need this big thing anymore. I got a solution for you. Just grab yourself an old roll of tape. It can still have tape on it because honestly, bubble gum, way more useful than tape. Just take that roll off of there. Don't need that darn tape. That's so useless. They just go ahead and. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Then you just go ahead and wrap it around here, just like, uh, just like that. Oh my gosh, this is a lot harder than it looks. My hands are too big. This will be worth it in the end, I can tell. Just keep twisting that on there. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking solid. That looks pretty good. Let's see if it cuts. <gasps> oh my, what? This little razor thing actually cut the bubble tape. What? what am I supposed to do with all this? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Yum, yum. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> I need more gum! Perfect! Oh, oh man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh man, this is kind of a workout. I'm gonna try and blow a bubble, are you ready? <laughs> Honestly, this is supposed to be bubble gum. I can't make any bubbles with this. But anyway, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. So for this one, you're gonna need a little bit of spray, some food coloring, mix that all together, and then you add your gelatin. Ooh, delicious. Oh. And then you go ahead and put it inside your cake pot mold. Let it refrigerate for a little bit, and it should look something like this. And now you got a bunch of delicious jello cake pops. So I've actually done this one before, but I think this time we should make a giant one. Okay, right, guys, so first step to supersizing this. We're gonna need a giant mold. Yes, this Easter egg should do. It's a little bit more oval shaped than I would like, but uh, you know, it might just work. I think the first step is I'm gonna glue it together. That way it doesn't leak. Break out our hot glue gun. Here we go. Just hot glue it all inside. Wait, if I do this, it won't come apart. So maybe this isn't a great idea. Uh, hmm. Well, I already committed. Ah! Dang, I forgot how hot that is. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. Holy crap. What a great meme. Do it for the craft. It doesn't seem to want to stick together. I think I might have messed this up. Can I take off the hot glue? How could I do this to myself? <laughs> okay, we got all the glue off. Uh, <laughs> let's try this again. We're just gonna go ahead and put it together. This is harder than I thought. Ah! Oh, it popped together, perfect. Now I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the outside to help it stay together. Okay, that's nice and cooled down. Now we're gonna drill a hole in the top. Let's get all the plastic parts out. Now we have to mix all the jello. First thing we gotta do, add all the boiling water. Oh my gosh. Add all these guys in there. Go ahead and mix it up. Now we have the cold water. 
Mix, mix, mix. Okay, now for the hard part. We have to try and get this into here. I think I might need to make the hole a little bigger. Oh, I cracked it. No. Oh well, there's a hole. It's good enough. Does our funnel fit? Yeah, it does. Nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some olive oil and put it inside. This way it doesn't stick and uh, when we try and break apart the mold, it doesn't stay together. Apparently this is something you're supposed to do. Spin it around. Yeah, that ought to do it. I'm gonna use this bowl to kind of help uh, hold the egg up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I have to attempt to get this jello in here without messing up. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Guys, the egg, it leaked, Ah, oh, No. That sucks. What do I even do? I don't think that I can make this one work because I also, this thing was filled with like a lot of random stuff. I don't know what the heck was in here. I think it was like silicone molding or something. Dang, I messed up. I'm going to attempt to transfer the jello over. Okay, so that Easter egg, not a good idea. So I guess uh, this will be our new jello mold. Well, I guess the only thing I can do really is uh, shove this in my fridge and hope that this goes over well. Okay, so it's fully gelatinized. Now I'm gonna try and get it out of the mold. One, two, and... Oh! Oh my gosh! It actually kept its shape. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my gosh! That is a... That's a big mold. But can we turn it into a jello pop? You guys ready? One, two, and... Not gonna lie, guys, uh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't think that this stick is gonna hold it, but are you guys ready? And one, and two, and... No! Dang! It's too big! <laughs> I have an idea. Boobity boop! to do it. Okay, we have our new stick. You ready? One, two, and... But will it hold? <gasps> no! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Fill a syringe with food coloring using a needle tip. Inject the liquid into the gum. This way, it stays in the package. She's in for a surprise. So I couldn't find any individually wrapped gum, but I found something better. Oh, if you guys haven't had these, really good. There we go. Not sponsored, by the way. Can we go ahead and get our syringe? Yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we get our food dye. I'm gonna go ahead and use red because I got a red high chew. Just so Tori will never know. So we just have to do this and then suck it up somehow. Oh, get in there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Honestly, this is a way better solution. Wow. That works a lot better. I was gonna try and just suck it up through the syringe. Okay, Put that in there. Very careful, very careful. Ooh, that kind of low-key looks like blood. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to insert it into the back of the high chew. Yes, yes. Very carefully. This might be more complicated than I thought. Okay, here we go. And hopefully the dye doesn't come out. And that's all we get. I think I need more dye. I don't think I put enough in here. I'm just gonna go over the top. Yes, the whole thing. Okay. Oh, it came out the back. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, get in there. Yes. Okay, it's dripping out. Don't worry, it's just the cherry flavor. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, now let's test this out on Tori. Tori Brisk, I have this awesome candy. I just want to show you. Yeah, can I have it? Do you want to try it? Here you go. I do. No, I do not. Not anymore, Robbie. What? What? That looks disgusting. Tori, and I was told you should not open candy. That is bleeding. No, it, you've been told you shouldn't take candy from strangers. This is not bleeding. It is it's perfectly safe. It is clearly bleeding out of the pack. Tori Bransky, this candy is perfectly safe, okay? I will eat it right now, okay? Okay, good. Go for it. All yours. And it's so good. See? There's nothing. You're really definitely bleeding now. <laughs> I've been pranked! Oh, no! You got me! I hope you can get all that stuff out. I've been pranked. I hope Sophia brought a towel with her. Ooh, right in the face. They say the best pictures tell a story. Oh, okay, guys, so I'm gonna have Tori Dabransky go up in that window and dump water on me right now. And I'm gonna have my buddy Kyle on standby uh, taking really fast photos of me. And we're gonna have Ben. Can you give me a me. We're not gonna have Ben. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, you ready, Tori? I'm ready. Three, two, one, and. Please tell me we got that. I really don't want to do that one again. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Freaking face. Oh, that's great. Dude, it was a lot colder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one freaking works. And look at all that wasted cereal. I'm just going to leave the bowl right here in this refrigerator drawer. Quick, put the cereal back on the table, Amy. Hey, what the heck happened to this stuff? I was only gone a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, so here's our bowl. Here's our cereal. As the great Rebecca Black said, gotta have my bowl, gotta have my cereal. I'm off to the bus stop. I see my friends. Hey, friends. Are you guys my friends? Please be my friends. I'm so lonely. <laughs> anyway, put the cereal inside the bowl. Looks good. Nothing like a fresh bowl of Jolly Rancher cereal to start the day. Am I right? Can we get our spoon and put that in there? And some fresh milk. Awesome. This looks pretty dang appetizing. I feel kind of bad that I'm going to be ruining this. Anyway, let's go put it in the freezer. Oh, man. I don't have an extra hand to open the door. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's put this in here. There's no room. Where the heck am I supposed to put this? I guess right there is good. Nope. Uh, dang. I really should have cleared a spot before I did this. No, that looks fine. Okay, I will uh, see you in a little bit when you're frozen. Goodbye. Okay, how are we looking? Are you frozen? Oh. Uh, Enough. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go try this one out on Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. How's it going, my man? Hey, what's up, dude? I made you some cereal because I wanted to apologize for all these mean pranks I've been doing all day. Thank you. Yeah, they're Jolly Rancher flavored cereal. Doesn't it, doesn't that sound so good? You've been playing! What the heck? I froze it! Spoon won't even come out. The whole bowl. You been freaking prank, dude! What are you doing, Chris? No, what, what are you doing? I'm sick stop, of this. Stop, Chris! No. I'm sick of this, Chris! I love this food. You're wasteful. What are you doing to my poor cereal? No, Chris! Don't talk Chris, to me. Chris, it's only a prank. Stop, no, Chris! It's not a prank. It's not a prank. This ain't a prank, Chris! No, I saw it. I saw it. I want you to be gone, dude. It's a Too real hungry. Prank. It's a real Too hungry prank. for this. It's a freaking prank, dude! No, stop! No, it's a freaking prank, Chris! No! Well, guys, I guess we can say it. This one works. Take that, Chris. <laughs> it's bleeding. No, it, you've been told you shouldn't take candy from strangers. This is not bleeding. It is perfect. it's perfectly safe. It is clearly bleeding out of the pack. Kordansky, this candy is perfectly safe. Okay, I will eat it right now. Okay. okay good. Go for it. All yours. And so glad. See, there's nothing. You're really definitely bleeding now. <laughs> I've been pranked. Oh no! You got me! Hope you can get all that stuff out. I've been pranked. Ooh. Abracadabra, Alakazam! I'll get rid of the soda just because I can. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. I haven't seen you all day. Hi, sorry I was yawning, but hello. Oh, what's that? Is that a, a sweet Coca-Cola? Yeah, it's a Coke. Do you want it? I want to show you a magic trick. You ready? Go for Here, it. Here. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm uh, first. I'm just gonna break out my trusty handkerchief. Ready? And I'm gonna make this coke disappear. And one, and two, and what? You're gonna throw it at me. Oh my god! Where did it go? Tori, where did it go? Oh my, you've been so. You, know, you didn't even see that coming, did you? Robbie, it's on the floor. I heard it. You hit it. It fell to the ground. Tori, I have something to tell you. Is Have I been pranked? You've been pranked! Robbie, what are you doing? Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. Bye. Okay guys, so here's our onion. Then we just have to cut it in half. That probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but you know what? Ugh, ugh, it works, okay? I just didn't want to use the whole onion. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our blender. Then we just go ahead and toss this puppy in there. Here we go. I really hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to take off the sticker. Well, I mean, it's close enough. Now we just go ahead and uh, pour it all out. 
It's not really uh, liquidy. Oh. I mean, it's just chopped onions with a sticker. Here we go. Ugh. My eyes burn so bad right now. Like, I think I need safety glasses. Okay, yeah, these should do. They don't really help that much. So then we get our orange. I actually don't have a watermelon at the moment, uh, so this will have to do. All peel. Then I guess we just take our orange pieces and uh, put it in the onion. Oh, man. This just, this does not look good. Ew. This is gonna taste so funky. I kind of feel bad for making Chris eat this. <laughs> He's never gonna want to come over my house ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and save this piece for me. I just have to remember which one it is. Here we go. Put that in there. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and try this out on Chris. Okay. Hair Jordan! Come here! I made you a delicious and nutritious snack! Hey, what's up? I made you some oranges! Come here! They're delicious and nutritious and, uh, they're great. I kinda don't trust it. What? Will you eat one first? Yeah, of course! Why wouldn't I? Yeah. No, it's great. Oh. Here, Chris, 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 Chris. All right, you say so. Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Chris, you've been, you've been pranked. That really didn't taste like a... <laughs> well, guys, I guess if you're going to try this one, uh, make sure that you don't get the wrong one. How many little Skittles do you think it would take to make one massive Skittle? You're about to find out. Let's organize that. Looks like part one is done. Next step, bubbles. These bad boys. They don't even look like Skittles anymore. Especially when they start boiling in a pot. Look at all that gooey sugar. Smooth as butter. Time for the next phase. Molding the giant candy. Yep, it's all going into that giant bowl. Now let's let this sucker harden. In the meantime, roll out some dough. Carefully place the dough over the candy. And now for a touch of color. Nice! And for the finishing touch, perfect. Okay guys, so I went to the store and I got... Oh! All of these Skittles. 15 bags of Skittles. That's a lot of Skittles. So I think our first step is to take all these bad boys out of the bag. Oh my gosh. I have never seen this many Skittles in one place before. Oh my God, I wanna go swimming in this. Dude, if these were sour Skittles, I would I would be in heaven right now. I love sour Skittles. I probably owe most of my cavities to sour Skittles, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, now for the fun part. It's time to sort all these bad boys out. <sighs> I'll see you guys in a couple hours, I guess. Mmm, at least I have Skittles. That took way too long. Oh my god. And we're done. I'm really not sure why the heck I'm supposed to sort all these when we're just gonna end up taking all the color out anyway. Uh, but I freaking did it. Okay, so now that these are all done, it's time to add the 7-Up. They said bubbles. Uh, I'm just gonna use 7-Up because it's the only thing that they had at the dollar store. Here we go. Oh, it's fizzing up. Whoa. <laughs> now the green. Did I buy enough Sprite? I think I might be a little short on Sprite. Oh no. Actually, I have the perfect amount. Sweet. I don't know whether I'm supposed to just let these sit or like mix them up. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up a little bit and see. Oh, they're already starting to turn white. Whoa. I think I need to let them sit for a little bit. Probably not very long. I'd say like five or 10 minutes and then all this dye should start coming off. But does it taste the same? Yep, still tastes like uh, pure sugar. <laughs> okay, so these look like they're about as good as uh, I'm gonna get. So I guess I'll start sifting these bad boys. Okay, now for the yellow. Oh my goodness, and I still have the purple left. I think I'm gonna have to pour these into a bowl because I don't have enough room. Okay, and time for the purple. There we go. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to melt these bad boys down. Here's our pot, here's our Skittles. Uh, okay, that's better. The next one, oh my gosh. That is a beautiful clump of white Skittles. Okay, turn this bad boy on. Sweet. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this boil down.
Guys, I don't know about you, but I think that this is honestly perfection. Like, look at this. Dude, this is so, like, silky smooth. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in these bowls. So I'm actually gonna use some vegetable oil to make sure that it doesn't stick inside of the bowl. I tried their method where you just put parchment paper, but it doesn't seem to stick. And I feel like it wouldn't make it look very good if, you know, we had all these wrinkles in it. So we're just gonna spray it with this. Okay, now time for the moment of truth. You ready? Oh my gosh. Wow! Dude, this is crazy. This is literally liquid Skittles. Oh my god, my roommates are gonna kill me. I got that everywhere. Ah! Okay, next one. Yes! Perfect. Ah! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now I'm just waiting for these uh, liquid Skittles to cool down. I'll come back when they're hardened. Okay guys, so here they are. I think they turned out uh, pretty solid so far. Let's see if we can actually get them out. But first I'm gonna roll out some parchment paper. See, it looks totally different. You can't even actually tell that I put parchment paper down. That's kind of funny. Okay, I hope it comes out really clean. You ready? One, two, and... Whoa! That came out like perfect actually. Okay, time for the next one. One, two, and Uh-oh. Woo! There we go. Dude, awesome. We got two perfect Skittles. Now we got these made. It's time to make the outer shell. We got some uh fondant here. They said to use dough, but I feel like dough wouldn't work very well. Plus, oh, look how perfect this fondant looks. Wow, that is beautiful. Time to flatten it out. I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm just gonna use a piece tea can. Okay. This is a little harder than I thought. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, I think this is about as uh, as good as we're gonna get. So, <laughs> I'll roll out the other one and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're all done with the second one. I actually think this one turned out a lot better than this one, if I'm being honest. So now it's time to, oh my gosh. It's time to fuse these guys together somehow because I don't think that they'll stay together with fondant. Dude, that is perfect though. I am so proud of this. Okay, how would I, oh. They're already stuck together. Wow, that was way too easy. This is crazy, it's a giant Skittle made from like 10,000 tiny Skittles. That's amazing. Okay, now time to put some fondant on this bad boy. Here we go, be careful. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one on the bottom because I feel like the bottom, the bottom's gonna look kinda weird. Be very careful. No, it's really good. Wow, I'm pretty happy with the Skittle so far. Not bad. Can I roll this out? I think I can, wow. I can actually just use this this to smooth it out. That is wild. I love fondant. Dude, Cake Boss, you want to have me on your show? Okay, next time. This is going to be the top, so I can make it look extra nice. Wow. Oh, I'm missing a little bit right here. Can I roll that on? Okay, yeah, it's working kind of. Put these guys together. Wow. Dude, this is awesome. This turned out really good, actually. We freaking did it. We made a giant Skittle. Now we just have to make the S. Here we go. I can't open this package because it's so slippery. Oh, no. Well, I mean, if the S is made out of blue, that's fine. So I'm gonna roll this out. Wait, I just found white. Oh, this is perfect. Get out of here. Actually, I'm going to eat you to see what you taste like. Oh, oh, that tastes so weird. Weird sugary dough. It actually tastes like maybe cake dough. It tastes like Play-Doh with like a lot of sugar in it. This is the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. I take that back. I've tasted a lot of weird things before. There we go. Break out our white fondant. Now we have to cut out an S using our X-Acto knives. Now this one I do. Okay, can I reconstruct it to make an S? Here we go. And we freaking did it! I'm just gonna roll this on really quick. Wow! Dude, we made a giant Skittle! Well, guys, I guess we can say it. This one freaking works! And now I have a giant Skittle. Can I even eat this thing? What am I supposed to do with this? What the heck? This is awesome. I love it. Great hack, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Just a couple more colors. Looks like nothing but water at first. But then everything changes. Okay, so here's our plate. Here are our Skittles. Just uh, go ahead and pour some of these bad boys out. Woo, 
looks good. So now we gotta start uh, ordering these bad boys. Let's do this. So under close consideration, there's no blue Skittles. What the heck? Dude, how have I never noticed there aren't blue Skittles? But luckily I got these wild berry Skittles, so I think we have a lot more variety here. Pick out the blues. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Oh man, Skittles are too freaking good. I can already tell like I'm gonna have so many cavities after this video. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's make the freaking rainbow. And we are all done. It looks freaking perfect, dude. So here's our spray, and I'm just gonna get a syringe like that. I'm using a syringe because I feel like it'll give me a little bit more control over this whole thing. I really don't want to mess up because uh, I don't have the patience to do this again. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, is it starting to work? Whoa. I'm gonna add some water to the middle. Maybe that'll help it. Okay, Skittles, do your thing. I believe in you. Whoa, it's actually doing it. Dude, this is so cool. Holy crap. Dang, that is really clean, actually. Wow, I was not expecting this. Dude, this is so freaking clean. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one freaking works. Also, it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we figure out the thumbnail. Woo! Uh, yeah, this is basically the thumbnail. Nail. So that ought to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Looks like my best fight right down there. If you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks, crafts, and experiments, I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Do you guys want to see all new clips from my videos before they come out? Let me a channel called Robbie Clips where you can see my favorite videos that I've done and also brand new videos before they come out. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ending? Okay, bye. Oh!